Seven 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 one two six six five. All right. Yeah. There's Daniel Sampson. All right. Good deal. Well, good morning, everybody. Good to see all of you. Believe it or not, this is our one year anniversary for the Eagles Wings Collective. Started these when I was a, a young man a year ago, and uh, some of you have been a part of everyone. And and we never take it lightly that. Uh, you take time out of your schedule to join us. Uh, we really count that an honor. And uh, the topic today is a topic very dear to all of our hearts in worship ministry, uh, the future of Choral Music Publishing and where to find great music now. And boy, am I glad to see Daniel Sampson. <laughs> Daniel, how you doing, man? Listen, it's early for him. It's eight o'clock in California. And uh, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me today. Oh, you bet. It's going to be going to be great. And um you know, in the old days, there was a whole lot of publishers. And the older you are, you remember more and more publishers. We had Word, we had Brentwood Benson and Lilinus and Lifeway and Prism and a whole slew of publishers. I remember uh, being in California, my dad was a, an Assembly of God pastor, so I didn't grow up Southern Baptist, which I am now. But uh, when I first got involved in music publishing, a place called Mana Music published my first musical called In His Presence. Anybody remember that? 1979, yes, indeed. But uh, we started getting these orders like for 300, 350, 375. And I thought, man, these people are ordering for their whole congregation. And back then, that was the size of a lot of, a lot of choirs. We'd get, a, remember that, Kathy? We'd get uh, some up to 400. You know, Johnny Harlow would order 400 for his choir every, every time he'd order anything. And um, so those, those figures have changed dramatically. Um, we hit a thing called a recession in around 2008. And uh, don't you hate the phrase new normal? I just hate that phrase, but the new normal came down to here and uh, became the new uh, normal for choral music publishing. And then the pandemic uh, had a major effect as you know, on so many publishers and uh, the new normal now is we're starting to rise from the ashes and more and more choirs are coming back into being, thank God. And uh, how many of you are at 100% or close to it? Hmm. How about that? About half of you. Um, how about how about a 70%, 70% back before pre-pandemic days? Great, great. Well, uh, my hat's off to all of you for jumping back in and... Uh, I really, I'm the eternal optimist for choral music. I believe, as Daniel does, that uh, choral music has a great future because it's not Daniel's idea. It's not John T. Benson's idea. It's God's idea. And the choir is going to be around for eternity. When we get to heaven, God's not going to summon the praise team. He's going to summon the choir. Every tribe, tongue, nation, generation. And uh, I'm so... I always feel so privileged that God gives us a little hors d'oeuvre of what heaven will be like here on earth. So uh, so we're going to jump into that pretty soon here. I wanted to just have a season of prayer real quick. Um, most of you know Roger McGee uh, passed away, and his uh, I don't know if you saw his memorial service on Saturday, but very, very moving. Uh, we took Roger on trips around the world. We recorded his choir probably five or six times, and one of the finest Christian gentlemen I've ever, ever met. And I told him that every time I was with him. And uh, his wife passed um, about five years ago and we'd always call to encourage him. And, and every time we try to encourage him, we'd, we'd leave with hearts full. He just, he just had that way of um, being a blessing to us when we were trying to be a blessing to him. And uh, just a real tragedy how, how he passed, but uh, let's pray for his sons, Corey and Casey and their families. They had the entire family together at Roger's home, which rarely happened. You know, his sister and the, uh, both boys and uh, the new grandbaby. And, uh, you know, at uh, the funeral, Corey shared that uh, Roger thanked God for his family during the prayer for the meal. And they started eating and 20 minutes later, uh, he, um, he just stopped breathing and uh, got some steak in his, uh, lodged in his throat and uh, just a real, real tragedy. But uh, let's pray for Corey Casey and the family. Um, 
it was an incredible service. He uh, just affected so many lives and, and was such a great, great guy. So I, I know a lot of you knew him. So uh, any other prayer requests before we kick this thing off? Yeah, Tommy Sunderland, uh, his pet brother just passed away this week. So uh, pray for Tommy. If you get a chance to send him a text saying you're praying for him, um, appreciate that. And, uh, and let's join together for the future of church music as well. This, that God will um, lead the right people to um, provide music as Daniel is doing with Simpson Music. And uh, we want to hear what, what's happening at the great Simpson Music out in California. But before we do, let's pray together. And um, oh, Keith Ferguson, pray for my son, Michael. Yeah, let's um, pray for Michael today as well. So uh, let's join together and, uh, and agree together. There's great power when we agree, no doubt. And uh, Will Whitaker, why don't you lead us, all right? Um, let's join in in belief together, in prayer together, and uh, ask for God's blessing today. Thank you. Will, I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me okay? I think you're with us, aren't you? All right. Hey, Rick Stone, why don't you lead us? Sure. Thank you. Appreciate it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. You're our sufficiency. You are our King and our Lord, and we are so grateful to be able to meet with brothers and sisters in Christ and to focus on you, uh, worship uh, in spirit and in truth. And I just pray that you would bless this meeting. Uh, Father, we do pray for the McGee family, we especially lift up Corey and Casey and ask that you minister to them, wrap your loving arms around them. And may this be a time uh, that they realize they do not weep as those who have no hope. Uh, one day they will see their father again. Lord, we also pray for Tommy's brother who passed away, minister to this family. Give them that peace that passes all understanding. Lord, we pray for Keith's son, Michael. Yes. That, uh, we don't know what the situation is, but you do. So we uh, pray the prayer of faith and believe that you will hear and answer and minister to uh, Michael in a very special way. Lord, uh, redeem this time together. Uh, thank you for these men and women. They are some of your choice servants. Yes. And Lord, it's our desire to lead your people in pure praise, authentic worship, and give us music that will exalt the name of Jesus and uh, make much of you. And so, Father, thank you uh, so much for the Barfoots and for them putting together uh, this time that uh, we can share uh, ministry together. And I just pray a blessing on their family and, and their ministry. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for hearing and answering prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thanks, Rick. Well, this morning, I'm a thorn between two roses, my beautiful wife, Sherry, here, and uh, Kathy King, our COO for Celebration Ministry Staffing, and uh, Kathy needs to leave pretty soon here, but I wanted her to just share a little bit about what's going on at the CMS, Celebration Ministry Staffing, and... Uh, Take it away, Kathy. Sure. Uh, I feel like I'm going to do an Ola Mills portrait between <laughs> mom and dad for our church directory, but I'm really not. Um, I, I just it. wanted to update you quickly about what's going on at CMS. We continue to sign new churches on a regular basis. And as always, you can see what is current and what's new on our website um, at celebrationministrystaffing.com. And I always like to remind you that Every search is confidential. If you reach out to us and just say, hey, I noticed Peachtree Corners Baptist, you just signed them. Tell me a little bit about that. That remains confidential. And we are a part of those kind of searches all the time. And we want you to know we will not talk about you, that some of you may be 
feeling that prompting of the Holy Spirit, and we would love to help you if you feel that. Also, just to remind you, when Phil and Sherry started the company, we only did worship services. Now we are doing children's, we're doing executive pastors, we have a ton of youth positions. And so if you know somebody, think outside your normal box of worship pastors, we would love to help you, um, you know, help us. And you know, we will make it worth your while. We love to reward you for helping us find great candidates. Again, if you know a church that might be looking for staff, shoot us an email or a text and we'll let you know um, if we're already working with them. But we would love for you to be part of what we do at CMS. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Kathy. Appreciate it. And uh, so great to have Daniel Simpson with us. I always have a special place in my heart for other entrepreneurs and uh, Daniel will tell us a little bit about his story. But as you know, when the, the big boys started to close up shop and uh, most recently Lifeway, I was with Lifeway for 15 years and uh, I was the last batter at the plate, uh, new Christmas musical. Some of you have heard called The Majesty of Christmas that was the last thing we recorded that, that just came out. But uh, so proud of Daniel, man. Um, God called him to do this, there's no doubt. And uh, no one knows how hard it is for an entrepreneur. It looks so easy from the outside. And uh, so I, uh, I've kind of taken Daniel around my uh, arms and just uh, embracing what they're doing and absolutely supporting them everywhere we can. So the way I view this, we're not competitors. We are in this together. Anybody who thinks you know, we're all competing with each other is, is, is really small-minded. What we're doing is uh, creating music for the church worldwide. And if any of us think we have a corner on the market, we're crazy because it's a big market. And uh, so proud of Daniel and how God's leading him to uh, create great, great new product for the church. So Daniel, take it, man. Tell us what's going on at Samson Music. Hey, thank you, Phil. Thanks for having me. And thanks everyone for coming today. Um, I'll tell you that first off, wow, 1979 was your first musical. That's, that's awesome. Um, that was the year I was born. <laughs> I figured as much. <laughs> um, so that's awesome, man. Um, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Thank, yeah. And you've, you've obviously been at this a lot longer than me, but, but Hey, I, I will tell you that when I was 13 years old was when I joined the choir at my church. Um, <clears throat> you know, God, God started moving in my heart through the worship music and, and the, the stuff that was going on at my church. And I jumped in the choir and, and man, my, I loved it. My church did this musical called The Promise. I don't know if anyone remembers this musical called The Promise, but it was awesome. And this was like 90s. I guess we were in the 90s here. And, um, and man, The Promise was like the whole birth of Jesus all the way through the death. I mean, we had the cross on the stage and then he comes out of the tomb and we sing Arise. I mean, it was just this huge, huge like Easter production we did every year. And, um, and man, the, you know, as a 13 year old, I thought I was just like the bee's knees singing bass which i i can't i'm sure i wasn't singing bass at that time i was 13 in the <laughs> choir but uh the lord just really captured my heart you know um for choir uh I, and for worship music i started leading worship in my school i, I was playing in the bands at church and um man just uh the lord just really started ministering to me and speaking to my heart then as a young kid um we did the promise every year for several years and my senior year of high school when I was 17 years old, you know, it was about time to start rehearsing for the promise. And, and, uh, my mom who was always saying the big, you know, Sandy Patty solo. Um, my mom was like, well, we're not doing it this year. And I was like, why? This is the best part of the year. It's like all of the rehearsals and the, you know, all the practices leading up to, to Easter as we do the promise. But she said, there's no one to, there's no one to direct it this person left and that person's gone and da, da 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 And I was like, I'll do it. I'll do it. 17 years old. I mean, I'm like a senior in high school and have never directed anything or any, but I had the whole thing memorized, you know, after being in it so many years in a row and everyone just thought I was crazy. But the senior pastor at my church, for some reason, after praying about it for a long time, I'm sure, um, said yes. And and I'll tell you um, that like 25 years later, it was the same 
that same voice in my heart that when word music closed after I've worked at word for word music for 13 years and, and uh, after my, my wife had been a contract writer with them for 10 years. And after we had worked for Brentwood Benson and Lifeway and Prism and Praise Charts and everybody, Littleness, um, writing and arranging music and, and, you know, doing kids choir and all this kind of stuff. Um, last year after word closed and uh, we got word that Lifeway was going to stop producing choir music and orchestra music. I, it was the same feeling of like, well, somebody has got to do something here. Like we cannot not have the promise, right? We cannot not have choir music. Like who's going to, who's going to fill that void. And I just felt the Lord speak into my heart. Um, you, like you and Christy, you're going to do this. Like we're, and, and we had, you know, we've worked on the arranger and writer side of things for many, many years, but you know, we, we didn't know how to run a choral print company, but um, boy, um, thank you Lord for his leading and guiding over the last year. We, we contacted um, a bunch of the old word music folks that we knew. And, and um, so they're, you know, and said, Hey, we're sorry about what's happened at word. We feel it too. Um, come work for us. Let's, let's do this thing. And we, and we started Simpson music and, um, you know, at the beginning, our first initial thoughts were that we would just kind of be publishing our own music. But um, once the the big publisher started closing, we just knew that we had to we had to go bigger, and that we wanted to not just publish Daniel and Christy Simpson stuff, but uh, to be publishing all kinds of arrangers' music, and to be that that uh, person, that company that would fill the void for you know that was going to be left by Lifeway and Word, and then later Brentwood Benson. So. Um, you know, our, our heart and our passion really is for, for y'all, for, for the ministry. Um, we want there to be resources for your choir and orchestra. And, and that's why, you know, God just really spoke to our hearts and, and led us into this place. So we've, um, we've had a, a great first year. Uh, you know, we've, we've uh, learned a lot of stuff and um, had some wonderful things that have come out and, and we're still learning and growing. And um Love, I'd love to share, uh, uh, Phil asked me to share some of our top selling anthems, um, just in case you guys uh, have any interest in that. But I'd, I'd also love, man, um, one thing I'd really love to hear about is, is what are, what kind of choir resources are you guys looking for in your church? You know, like what are the things that are useful to you? Because there's, there's a lot of approaches, as you know, you, um, there's great worship songs that are out there that a lot of people want to use in their choirs. There's also the more kind of big choir anthem type of songs that, you know, have a big ending and are, you know, a, they're more lean to the, I, I would hesitate to use this word, but more of a performance piece for the choir. You know, I, so there, there's a lot of different things that people might be looking for. I would love to hear from everybody else as far as what are some things um, that are going to be useful to you, um, what are some things that, that you like that you could use in your ministry? But I do want to share, uh, let me share a couple of things that are coming out, if, you, if I can do that, uh, and a little bit about uh, what we're doing. We, we started as just all digital. So uh, our first six or eight months, we were just doing digital downloads for everything. Um, you know, and we were trying to think and be innovative. And so, uh, we don't have a, we don't have a choral club plan. Um, I'm not going to send anybody a box of music or a CD. Um, uh, cause we don't have like, we're, we don't have the, we don't have the money to do that. Honestly, like we don't have the overhead. We, we can't have that overhead. Um, and I don't know that it's necessary at this point. So, uh, our choral club is our email list. And, and I know that several of you are on the email list and, and big thank yous to everyone who's purchased music from us. Um, you guys rock. Thanks so much. Uh, appreciate your support. Uh, but our, yeah, our, our choral club is our email list and we release music all the time. This is another big um, change for us is that instead of releasing a box in May and a box in September and another couple boxes throughout with big stacks of music to make your way through, we release music like sometimes every week. Um, right now we're on a streak where we're going to release something every single week until July and maybe beyond. Um, 
uh, you know, we're, we're recording, you know, in little bits here and there instead of recording these giant projects in, you know, a week. So um, I like that idea. I, I, I like that, you know, I don't have to like carve out a whole two weeks of my schedule or a week to like listen to all the new choir music that I can just maybe check out and take five or 10 minutes every week and listen to a new song and see if it's going to work for my group. You know, um, I think that idea is fun and uh, we've got some good response from that, but love to hear whether that's working for you guys or not, but uh, we don't have a choral club. So if you're not on our email list, I'd love to have you on our email list. Uh, you can go to samsonmusic.com and right at the very bottom of the page is a place where you can, sign up and you'll get emails from us about once a week. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to drop our top 10 selling anthems into our, into the chat here. Uh, so uh, let's see. Cause we have, yeah, I'll, I'll just put links on in here, but I'll run through them real quick. Um, Same God has been, is our number 10 right now. Same God has been an awesome worship song arranged by Phil Nitz. Uh, I think it's an elevation worship tune. Really, really cool lyrics and an awesome song. Uh, we're doing that in my choir actually right now. Uh, then I think number nine is our patriotic hymn medley, which uh, would be a great one to pick up now to use if you're going to do something around the 4th of July at your church. Uh, it's it's a, one of those ones that has a fantastic orchestration by David Clydesdale. It's arranged by John Bolin. Uh, so it has that big kind of bombastic feel. If you if you got an orchestra, man, they will love playing it or they'll hate playing it. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's, Cly you know, it's Clydesdale. So the brass has, I think, the brass has a whole three-quarter note rest of the entire piece. Um uh, but it, it, your trumpet player may love it. Uh, so patriotic hymn medley is great because you can do it with your choir and your orchestra, but also you can invite your church congregation to sing along because it's great. Uh, it, John doesn't change up the, the melodies and make it really weird. Um, it's, it's very uh, usable for a church sing-along moment if you want to do that around you know the 4th of July or any time that you, you want to celebrate something patriotic. Uh, our number... Eight was Christ the Lord is Risen Today uh, with He's Alive. That was an awesome moment for Easter. Uh, we used it at my church. It was a great opener for, for the more Easter Sunday morning. Uh, then we go down to a song called Believe For It, which was a C.C. Winans tune. Uh, Phil Nitz uh, or, did a great job on that piece. If you, uh, if you haven't uh, listened to that song, it's a great piece. Uh, then we go into a song called I Speak Jesus, which is just killer. Um, John Bowen arrangement. And uh, uh, awesome key change in that as we get to the end. Works for worship and uh, as also as a performance piece. Either way, I think it, it fits in both. But it's a great, great song. I'm, I've, I know a lot of you guys have heard that one. Okay, I'm throwing these into the chat right now. Links. Let's see if I can... Oh, maybe it won't let me copy and paste. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. Okay. So, um, good. Okay, and then we got uh, a song called Hymn of Heaven that just came out uh, a few weeks back. Phil Wickham tune, beautiful arrangement. That's a Cal Baptist song. If you are a fan of the Cal Baptist uh, line, we're super happy to be partnering with with uh, CBU uh, and having their choirs sing on these uh, awesome arrangements. Uh, the next one's called Worthy. Worthy, big, big song for uh, like a female solo and choir. Uh, really, really powerful piece. Um, and then there's a Christmas song, Light of the World, Sing Hallelujah, that Cliff Duran arranged. That's a fantastic piece to take a look at maybe for this Christmas. Uh, it was out last year and was a big hit for us last year. And then our top two, uh, number two was Gyra, which is a killer worship song. And Cliff Duran did a great arrangement on that as well. And then our number one, of course, which I think every single person that's ever visited our website has uh, picked up this arrangement. is Thank You, Jesus, for the Blood. That one has just been, yeah, yeah. Uh, love thank you jesus for the blood just as a as a song in and of itself but also this arrangement is is great cliff did an incredible job okay i'm seeing a couple of questions up in the chat um thank you for those uh and and yes thank you for those that are buying stuff awesome cool so youth youth collections um I have i have one youth song out right now and there is one more that we're working on um that is on the radar and uh we haven't seen a ton of interest but it's not something that we're going to abandon so it that's definitely something that's that's planned for the future um 
but it probably won't be coming out this summer. But yes, yes, that's in there. It's on the list of things that we want to do. Um, I love, I love youth choir stuff and uh, love, uh, love doing that. So um, yeah, thank you, Aaron, for that question. Um, okay, so all right, cool. All right, yeah. Very good. Okay, cool. So I guess at this point, I would just love to maybe hear from y'all about um, some things that you desire for your, and Phil, if this is okay, you know, like what are some things that that really you're looking for in your ministry? Um, you know, if you were to say, hey, Daniel, this is really what we need in the future from, you know, Samson Music or whoever, you know, or whatever publisher, like, I would really love to know that because, um, you know, obviously we want to provide things that you can use. I mean, that's really what our goal is here is to resource your ministry. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'd love to love to hear from you about that. Aaron says more choir only pieces. Okay. Not solo led pieces. Gotcha. Absolutely. Hey, Daniel. Yeah. This is uh, Rick Stone. I'm asking for our student uh, worship pastor. Every December, the student choir opens up the month with a hanging of the green service, but it's really a hanging of the green concert. They'll do about eight or nine songs. And Matt was asking me if uh, I could ask you if there would be a Christmas uh, collection or something coming down the road. He's really struggling to find uh, repertoire for that specifically for youth choir well um he's taken uh, adult uh, level arrangements and uh, used them with the youth choir it doesn't have to be just totally lasered in on youth voices but uh, of course that would be nice but it, they're not out there very much yeah that's a great question um and I'll tell you this, man, for, for people that have kind of maybe those niche needs, like, uh, or, you know, maybe if there's a song on our website that's for sale, that's arranged for SATB, like for adult choir, but you really would like to use it for your youth choir, um, you know, reach out to me and let me know. Uh, because I, and I've told the singing men of Texas, the same thing where it's like, Hey, if there's something on our website where you want to do this for the singing men of Texas, but, um, you know, like I can just make a quick TTBB version for you. That's, that doesn't take me a whole lot of time, you know, and I could do the same thing for youth choir, perhaps if there's, if the keys are work okay, you know, if the key is right, um, I can just do a quick revoicing, you know, and, and make that work, you know, maybe for youth choir. So I would love, you know, feel free to shoot me an email. I'll, I'll put my, my email here in <clears throat> the chat as well. Like I would, uh, you know, shoot me an email anytime. If you have some kind of request like that, I'm happy to, to get those requests. And, and, you know, if I can help, uh, I'm happy to help. So, Thank you so much. I'll, I'll give him that information. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um up tempo pieces. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you know what we do for him anthems? Yes. Uh, we have some cool stuff coming up actually. Um, uh, in two weeks from, in two weeks, whatever May the 17th is, it's just about two weeks, we have a multi-gen musical coming out for Christmas. Uh, it's arranged by John Bolin, and it's going to, uh, really, really awesome songs in there. There's some um, cool moments for your choir, but it's going to have options for, you know, student choir and children's choir and and uh, adult choir together. So if you do multi-gen worship at your uh, church, man. Um, yeah, definitely check out our, our multi-gen musical that's coming out just in two weeks. Uh, we'll have a special zoom actually for that to premiere that musical with, with me and John Bolin. Um, uh, also, uh, yes, yes, yes. Just yesterday, or was it Tuesday? Today's Thursday. Just this week, we released a new children's musical that, uh, it's a Christy Simpson children's musical. It's called Star Stomp. And those all, of course, all come out on SimpsonMusic.com. Um, if you want, this is a brand new thing we're doing that we just started doing this week, and that's that our children's musicals are gonna go up on Spotify. They're on Spotify now, 
So, and Apple Music and any place of those streaming services, um, you can listen to those. What we found is that kids really don't, like, man, even with our kids' choir, they're not learning these songs well because they don't have CD players. So here we are passing out CDs and like even their parents' cars don't have the CD players anymore. So we're trying to figure out how can we get these kids to be able to rehearse this music on, on their own at home, you know, so they can come back and, and have these songs memorized. So we're like, man, we got to put these on Spotify because maybe a kid has an iPad at home or or the older kids, a lot of them have their own phones. Gosh. Uh, so if they can listen to these songs on Spotify or Apple Music, um, they might actually learn them. You know, so all the kids, the last three kids musicals from uh, Simpson Music, which is a, a star stomp that came out this week. PlayStation, which is a, an awesome like video game musical on the Lord's Prayer takes you a step-by-step step through the Lord's Prayer. Um, that came out in this last fall. That's on Spotify as well as Emmanuel. Emmanuel was the first one we did for Christmas last year. That's on Spotify and Apple Music as well. So you can listen to those. Obviously, everything on our website is there with a full-length preview. Uh, every anthem and every kids' musical, you have the the full audio and, the, and a PDF preview of everything. So uh, you can see the score. You can see the quite like the choir part and uh it's it's every page so you can actually really review these pieces to to make sure you you can use them before you commit to buying them so oh great thank you for doing praise station woo um yeah so we're definitely looking into to doing some more streaming things too if that makes sense and if we can um with our licensing so um yeah but yeah the children's musicals because we are right those original songs those are those are up there already right now so um, great. Awesome. Any, anybody else, um, more choir only and up tempo pieces, three or four minutes, hymn arrangements. Yes. Oh, in addition to the musical coming out in two weeks, we're working on some multi-gen hymn arrangements actually that are going to release uh, probably later this summer. So that's, uh, um, John Boland has been working on those as well. And these are great, great, uh, like hymns that are you can do with this multi-gen. So it's with your student choir and adult choir and kids choir. So uh, very, very good stuff that are coming soon. And and we do have something special planned for, there's a couple big, big hymn pieces coming um, maybe in the fall or, or early, early next year. So big, like, like uh, big, big hymns. So yes, we do have some stuff planned for that. Uh, but yeah, any, anything else that's, like, you know, specifically, I, I'm always curious, you know, we do a song called like same God <clears throat> and I'm curious as to like, shoot, you know, on the original recording, it has kind of a d down low, quiet ending, you know, and, and I asked Phil and maybe I, this was the wrong for me to ask him to do this. I said, Phil, when you arrange this, can you give this a bigger ending? So this can be kind of a little bit more like a choir moment, you know, if we wanted to do it that way. And he did. And, you know, so I'm, I'm more curious, like, is that helpful? Or is that actually, does that make you not want to use that with a big kind of choir ending? So I'm, I'm curious, uh, for, especially for these worship songs that we do a choir arrangement of, what works best for your ministry? You know, something that makes it so you can transition into the next song of worship or something that wants that makes people want to go, woo, you know, and they're like, good job, choir. So I'm OK. Terry says big endings work better. Awesome. But yeah, let me know like what's. What works for you guys? I'm, I genuinely want to know. Big ending. OK. Anyone else? I mean, that's two. <laughs> you use praise charts. Praise charts? Yeah. Use? Yeah. All right. We might ask all of you, what have you used lately that has really ministered to your folks and and uh, something you might want to share with the rest of the gang that uh, has really worked for you. That uh, really helps us um, in hearing what's what's new and, and what's working. And uh, anybody want to share anything 
what's really worked for you lately? What's your congregation's favorite song? Something like that. Or your choir's favorite song? Well, I just want to say I'm listening right now. I was cheating. And I was listening to your arrangement of Jara just a second ago, and I can't wait to order it. <laughs> it's a really great Daniel. But I just thank you for what you do for the kingdom. Um, I think one of the greatest Christmas musicals I've ever heard is the one that you did with Prism. And uh, it's a blessing to this day to people in my congregation in my area here in Atlanta. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And all right, uh, somebody, uh, Mark, we can't hear you. We see your mouth moving. <laughs> Mark Karkai, okay. Yes, hang on one second. Oh, there you go, we can hear you. Okay, the goodness of God, I could do that every Sunday. I companion with that with, um, we like to do blended worship here. And I've companioned it. I go from that and I transition to God is so good. The, the traditional uh, one that we all know. And, it, and it's just a really great worship moment for my church when we do those together. Awesome. Hey, Phil. Yeah. Hi, Daniel. This is, this is Lauren Minnick in Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City. Right. Yippee. <laughs> hey, uh, I got a question. Um, I know in the past, um, this is probably something more for, for worship pastors and I guess maybe choir members too, but there's been like in-person choral readings or times where you get together and you can do workshops with uh, music ministers and just share ideas, kind of like what, what Phil's accommodating here, but in person, I know they used to do stuff at Glorietta, um, some things in different places. Would there be a chance that, uh, any of you arrangers, uh, people like that would be willing to put something together uh, where, you know, worship pastors could gather, get together, hear about what's working, uh, you know, much like what we do here uh, with Phil, but just in another kind of setting. That's for you, for you, Daniel, or Phil. <laughs> and I think you guys also do some choral workshops too, where, where you would maybe travel and work with choirs uh, in different places. Yeah. Yeah. I I know we had a great time of uh, fellowship and choral readings um this last January we had this a Music Nashville conference and um out in Nashville and that was really really great. They were going to be doing another one like that in July uh at Houston um at John Bowen's church over there in in, in Texas, but uh we had to postpone that to next January. The gal who was running the conference uh, got cancer, and so she's she's um, in cancer treatments right now. And just like, you know, if you if you've ever known somebody who's gone through that, like you just can't do anything else, man. It just really saps you. So she had to postpone the July conference. But yeah, I agree, man. Those those conferences are awesome for uh, just like fellowship with, with each other, hearing from other people, getting encouraged, and um, getting ideas, and then also just yeah, hearing hearing the music, yeah. I mean, those have really been cool. Next year, we're starting a thing called Inspire, Inspire the Choir Workshops. And uh, it's twofold. It, uh, if you're old enough to remember the Singspiration days, Singspiration used to have choirs get together from uh, regions, you know, a regional choir, and you get together and just sing. All day Saturday, you just sing and fellowship and uh, encourage each other. And uh, we're going to start that next January. Uh, all next year, there'll be about six different uh, Inspire the Choir workshops around the country. And uh, so it's for choir. You bring your choirs. And uh, Lord knows we need in all the encouragement we can get and encouraging each other. And then uh, combined with that would be a luncheon for the worship pastors. So uh, it's twofold. One's for the choir members to get together in fellowship. And the other is for... Um, for worship pastors that bring their choirs to be a, a part of a luncheon and uh, a workshop and around the round table discussion, that kind of thing. So, yeah, fellowship is so important to what we do. And uh, Zooming is great, but it's not quite the same as hugging each other's necks and uh, 
and uh, sharing ideas at a table. And uh, some of the best ideas you'll ever get, as you know, are impromptu, um, maybe not in a workshop, but because you go to a workshop and you're sitting next to someone that shares an idea with you. I've gotten my best ideas just from people uh, just sharing impromptu of what they need. And, uh, but huge. Okay, shout very out. good. What's that? I just said, very good. Thank you for the answers. Uh, being out on uh, the Southwest, sometimes I miss all that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but uh, that's great, you know, so I'll try to put my ear to the ground and listen a little harder and see where, where, where I could be involved and what I can do to get my choir involved as well. But appreciate you guys, man, re really, really appreciate all you guys, uh, everybody on this call. So absolutely. And uh, huge shout out to Daniel for uh, listening to the Lord when he was 17 and when he was 32 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but he was born in 79 at least we know when he was born and, 42 uh, now yeah wow that's yeah right but yeah. uh you know samson music is up and running and uh, as you know prism music is up and running a uh, day wind i believe is starting a, a more aggressive choral print company and willingness uh sometimes publishes um some music and uh and then cct music our company um as you know for 15 years we've Produce music for Lifeway, um, 21 Christmas works. Every year we do a Christmas work and then 12 anthems. And uh, you probably noticed we've been in our, our home studio down in the basement the last couple of days. Looking forward to Daniel coming back with orchestra next month. Um, it's just a blessing to, to have that, uh, that studio. It's really, we live upstairs and the studio is downstairs, but uh, it's a world-class uh, studio and uh, so those are the companies that we know of. Um, and just a little, let you know about more about what we do. We have a celebration ministry staffing, as you know, a celebration concert tours. As you know, we take, uh, we've taken many of you, uh, probably at least 80% of you on trips around the world, taking Lauren to Scotland, Ireland next, next month. But uh, next year we have the Branson Praise Festival, second annual in uh, March and I encourage you to come to that. That's kind of a good starter trip. It's three nights and we do a huge concert at uh, the theater there. It's called The Mansion and uh, every Christian artist known to mankind is part of that. Uh, Bradley Knight is our accompanist and helps us with that. Um, uh, that's in March and then Worship in the Holy Land. We're talking to Travis Cottrell about leading a trip to the Holy Land where we uh, do a, a major worship conference over there uh, for Bethlehem Bible College and it would be sponsored by them and uh, just a great worship conference you can bring your choirs that's in April uh, the best of Scotland Ireland in May uh, the seventh annual celebrate America at uh, Kennedy Center Washington DC in July going back to Italy next year at uh, July the best of Italy and the third annual um, music uh, music celebration uh, we call it the Yeah, Nashville. It's in Nashville. <laughs> Music City Celebration, that's what it's called, in October, third annual. And uh, as you know, Nashville's become a destination for a lot of folks. And uh, Preston was, was with, with us this last year doing a big concert at the Grand Ole Opry. So we'll be at the Ryman for that. And then uh, the 13th annual Christmas in New York. Actually, Cliff Duran is bringing his choir to uh, be the the sponsored choir, the core choir for the 13th annual Christmas in New York next November. But uh, anyway, we can get your choir outside the walls of the church. That's what we're all about. And uh, and you get a free trip if you bring 10 people. Just 10 people for every 10 people, you get a, a free trip. Our goal is to get your family and anybody you want to come along on the trip. And, and, uh, and just all of these trips are ministry minded, every one of them. And uh, Thank God we're on the road again. It's been two long years since we've uh, had our wings clipped with the pandemic and uh, we're taking eight trips. This We're gone most of the summer this year and uh, some of you are on trips with us. Um, but I wanna let you know about a couple other things. Um, we have um, CCT Music and also Studio 78. And uh, if you would like to hear the majesty of Christmas, you just go to lifeway.com slash worship. If you know anything about the Lifeway uh, uh, website, it can be confusing. So if you just 
Put in lifeway.com slash worship and then the majesty of Christmas or my name, Felipe Barfute. Um, you can go right to, uh, again, you can see the entire uh, production, um, every song. You can, you can actually see the music, hear the music. You can see the uh, accompaniment DVD. Um, you can see everything you need to see. And there's stems available and a, a accompaniment DVD as well. So uh, some great songs. It's probably our best one yet. After 21 of these, um, uh, we're so pleased to be able to be the last product out the door for Lifeway. And a lot of you have used Christ is Born, you know, the men's quartet. Um, we have a sequel to that that uh, John um, recorded down in Pensacola at Olive Baptist, John Tyner. And uh, that is called O Love Divine. But in this musical, uh, we have a thing that Cliff Duren and I wrote called uh, Christ the Messiah. Christ the Messiah. We've taken the, uh, the tune of Ave Maria. That was Sherry's idea. She comes up with the best ideas. She's not a songwriter, but she gives us great ideas. But um, I never wanted to offend the Catholics, so we've been putting that off and off for every, every year. But this year we did Christ the Messiah, that is to the tune of Ave Maria. And um, just to give you a little idea of next year, uh, the best of Christmas is coming up. We're taking the 12 most popular Christmas songs for the last 21 years and doing fresh arrangements of the best of Christmas. That's gonna be out next May and uh, looking forward to that. But uh, we just always want to be here for you. How often do you get to talk directly to the publisher and tell the publisher what you're looking for? Daniel, that's awesome, man. And uh, it's so much simpler now. You don't have to wait for a choral club. You just go online and you can see the entire anthem or musical. You can hear it and uh, and you can order it and have it within seconds. You know what I mean? You go and print it out and ready to go. But it's such a different world now. And uh, and hand, a huge hand for, for Daniel for being a part of this today. Uh, great to have you with us, Daniel. And proud of you, man. Just keep, uh, keep doing what you're called to do. Um, I have strong feelings about, uh, uh, you know, Lifeway getting out of coral print. Uh, to me, it, I, and this is this is just me talking, all right. But uh, Lifeway, uh, you know, as you know, is the publishing arm of Southern Baptists, and uh, it's very important that uh, a denomination supply for their church. But if they're not going to, uh, Daniel Sampson will be glad to, and we will. And uh, to me, it's not about the money; it's about the calling. You know what I mean? If you're called to do something, if you make money at it or not, you're called to do it. And uh, that's kind of how we roll around here. We might not make money at it, but we're called to do it. And we're going to have a good time doing it. <laughs> yeah. Anything about a recording studio, you know, it's a money loser. But uh, mm -hmm. anyway, um, when you're called to do something and Daniel, uh, you know, he's been called to do this. And there's no doubt that God's favor is upon him. And uh Speaking of that, I just want to encourage all of you to, to follow your dreams. You know, if you, you feel the Lord leading you to do something that's kind of outside the box, uh, we're here to help you. I mean, call anymore. You can just call people that have done it. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, my best mentors never knew they were my mentors. I just watched them and watched what they do and then would call them and get their advice. So uh, we're here to help each other. We're all in this together. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. And, uh, we never want any of you to feel like you're an, an island. We uh, we are all together, and you can pick up cell phone. Um, you can um, call us direct, email us direct, and uh, we're here for you. And uh, we just actually recorded 12 anthems over the last couple of days. In fact, as we speak, remember the song, The Church Triumphant? The Church Triumphant. Um, Roger Breland, if you ever heard Truth do that, Every member of Truth for the last 40 years has that uh, narration memorized, all right? So Roger, as of right now, is recording that in Mobile. He's recording the narration for it. Mm. Great, the new Cliff Duran arrangement. We need to hear about the church triumphant and that great narration to encourage each other. And uh, a song Cliff and I wrote called Let the Healing Begin. It uh, applies really to the pandemic and uh, letting the healing begin. Um, in our in our hearts and our lives and our churches, 
Um, actually, our son Adam's getting married next week. He's been smiling ever since he got engaged. And uh, Joey's with us, my new assistant, and he's going to be in the wedding. But we wrote a song for his wedding called Faithfulness. It's taken from their favorite hymn is Great is Thy Faithfulness, and it's called Faithfulness. And uh, you have made me glad, the new Ch Charity Gale tune. Most of you know that. Um, we're starting a, a division called uh, America's Favorite Praise and Worship Retro, taking some older songs like Cliff just did uh, Holy is the Lord, the Tomlin, uh, great Tomlin tune, and put it with Gary Oliver's Holy, 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 and uh, man, a great, great flavor. And, and uh, we're going to put some of that on Facebook uh, probably tomorrow so you can hear a little bit about it. And then the multi gen tune called Alleluia, Amen. You, Great opener for a service, endless praise, uh, Charity Gale, uh, speak to the mountains, Cliff McClarney. Uh, that's going to be arranged by Bradley Knight. A uh, hymn of heaven, another arrangement by David Wise. Uh, Mercy. I don't know if you heard the song Mercy um, by Elevation Worship. Incredible song, and uh, that goes into nothing but the blood of Jesus and worthy of it all. CC Winans. That came out. Oh, about 12 years ago, but man, what a great song. It goes into I Exalt Thee, and, uh, and then another arrangement of the same God. So uh, um, anyway, just to let you know, it's coming down the pike here, but um, any other comments or questions at all, or things we can help you with at all? If you purchased an anthem today, which I just did <laughs> from you, uh, how can I tell my souls to go listen to this thing right now? <laughs> so <clears throat> I often put my, uh, you know, there's the, we have, of course, all the audio available for everything. So we have listening tracks, which is like the full demo version of the song. And then there's the, you know, mm -hmm. practice tracks for your sopranos, altos, tenor basses. And, right. uh, and of course, like split tracks, stereo tracks that you can use with your choir. But yeah, if you want to like, you know, I, I usually put these songs up on planning center for my choir. Uh, if you use planning center at your church, you know, we'll I don't, play. I'm about the only person in the world that doesn't. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, I guess you can email them an MP3 uh, or you could send them to our website. I suppose, you know, the full recording is there on simpsonmusic.com. Right. So you could send them that link and they could listen to it on the website. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do gyro next Wednesday night. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. If you go to uh, cctmusic.com, every song, we've recorded in the last 20 years is there in its entirety, all the way back to the, the Larry Goss days. Wow. So, uh, about three or 400 songs um, there, but you hear them in their entirety. It's not the 30 second clips, it's uh, cover to cover. And um, I know a lot of you have recorded with us and we, we uh, when you select the songs for recording, you get to hear them in their entirety there. Yeah, Mark Carruth, you've done what? Uh, seven recordings with us. Another one coming up this fall, so I love it. Hey, Phil, I'll tell you, I did um, one of the first things that I did as, as like a, after I graduated from college, I went to be a music pastor in San Diego, and the very first uh, Christmas like collection we did was the Portraits of Christmas. Um, so it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that was that was number one, the first one we ever did. <laughs> yeah, it's killer. It's great. Oh, great, great. Thank you, well, guys. We love you. We pray for you every day and um, just so great to fellowship with you and uh, put down June 2nd for our next webinar. June 2nd, we're starting our second year and uh, it's great to be able to encourage each other and uh, think about some ideas you can share next time because we're going to open it up uh, for uh, ideas from, from everyone and have some real special guests that we can announce pretty soon. All right, you're going to love it. But special thanks to Daniel. Daniel, we love you. Pray for you. And uh, looking forward you, to Phil. hearing Appreciate you. Hearing, and you know what? Hey, do some more Daniel Sampson arrangements, man. I told you that before. <laughs> I know it's One so came out just yesterday. Yeah. Oh, we good, did. good, because you know, you, you can get the, that whole administration thing. It's the black hole of an administration. Yeah. And you spend so much time, but God's blessed you as a great arranger, as, as we all know. And uh, I tell you, my favorite people in life, are people who have great talent, great ability, and yet are humble. They don't know they're great. And probably my biggest pet peeve is people who are great that know they're great. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why I love people like Daniel. They're humble. They, uh, Cliff Duran, man, one of the most godly guys you'll ever meet. And uh, uh, David Wise, you know, uh, these, these guys, 
you get to select who you work with. And my favorite folks, as many of you, as I look around this screen, fit that category. You just, you're humble, you're godly, and you're a great encouragement to me. And uh, I thank God for you, no doubt about it. So uh, let's pray before we leave. And uh, thanks so much for being a part of it. Paul Davis, why don't you lead us? And uh, God bless you guys for being a part of this. Absolutely. All right. Hey, thanks. Lord Jesus, we come to you right now, God, and I want to thank you so much for your grace, your goodness, Lord, and, and calling us to what, what we do. And Lord, I want to thank you for people like Phil and Sherry, they're encouragers to us, God, and um, Lord, uh, them taking of their time, Lord, to offer us resources where we can come together like this and, and can find out about new products. Well, I thank you for Daniel and Lord, um, even though uh, we've just gotten to know each other recently, Lord, I, I want to thank you for his ministry, how it blessed our church, it, even this past Easter and Palm Sunday with songs we did here. And Lord, as we continue to look through uh, music that they're doing, uh, Lord, I thank you for the guys in this room. Lord, we all face um, daily struggles. Mm -hmm. And um, Lord, I know there's an all out attack of Satan on our families, yes. on our homes. Uh, Lord, I know I, I text Tommy as we were going through this and uh, right after we prayed for him and, and uh, God, he's sitting there doing the slideshow right now for his brother's uh, funeral. And Lord, we're sitting here just going through our day mm. and uh, thinking about Sunday. And uh, there, one of my brothers is hurting. And so God, we lift each other up. Lord, I know as I looked through the ones that was in this Zoom meeting, I see some dear, dear close friends. Some people I don't even know. But God, the great thing is we're all part of the kingdom. And as Phil said earlier today, God, um, you take special credit when we pray in agreement. So God, right now, we pray in agreement for each other. God, I pray for our worship services this coming Sunday. God, that you'll get us out of the way and that people will see Jesus. God, when they leave here, <laughs> they won't worry if our music was Simpson music or CCT, but God, they'll know it was about Jesus, Lord God. And uh, that's the important thing. But I thank you uh, for people like uh, Daniel and Phil and Sherry and the resources they give our churches, Lord, to help us be able to equip the kingdom and be able to lead people to the throne. Lord, again, we thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Paul. God bless you guys. Have a great month. And hey, we got to do our picture, our monthly picture. Thanks, Sherry. <laughs> Show us my you guys act like you're having a really good time. Come on, let's see your hands. Everybody wave like you're having a really good time. <laughs> Thanks. All right, you guys have a great day. God bless you. And uh, Thanks again. See you next month. Take care.